do this. Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh Weekly. As always, I'm Robo, and today is May the 4th. So, it's Star Wars Day. And I was expecting more Star Wars stuff than there actually is, at least so far. I'm sure as soon as I record this, as soon as I get it uploaded, boom! More Star Wars stuff. But I can't worry about that. There's other stuff to talk about. A lot of stuff to talk about, actually. So, let's just get into that. Blah. So, let's talk about some amazing Yamaguchi, some Dasin models. Da Dasin? I still don't know how to say that. Some NECA, some Mezco, some Toys Alliance. Quite a bit of SH Figure Arts. And then, we'll get into some Star Wars stuff. I actually forgot about this last week, and it's magazine scans for the amazing Yamaguchi uh, X-Force Deadpool, and then Batman himself. The Deadpool, not really any surprises, it's just like, hey, this is still coming. But the Batman pages, it shows kind of the promotional shots we haven't seen yet. I don't think we've seen them. Batman's not up for order, right? Ooh, research. Ah. But more pictures of this cape, just, it's ingraining in my head. I'm waking up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat with... Things happening that I don't know. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. Shh. But I'm sucking myself out. I'll get this figure, and then I'll get... I, I'll hate it before I even... Mm, that's not the way to go into a review. So, but looking... Mm, I don't know. I've got to... Forget. Just... Calm. Mm. The Dason model doesn't descend... However, and I say model, it's not a model kit, these are actual action figures, but the Tom and Jerry from this company, uh, it's actually shipping now. veeb has got his shipping notice, but I haven't got anything. In fact, I can't log back into my account on China Model Toys, so I'm still waiting to hear back from that. With free shipping from overseas, uh, no telling how long it'll take, but I'm hoping to see at least some in-hand pictures here in the next few weeks or so. And for the price these are, they've went up to $45 now. Even if the joints are loose or, or they don't pop together really well, I, as long as they look this good, I'm down. Just ship them to me. Just ship me mine, please. In celebration of Batman Day, which I didn't know was a thing until... Well, they said something about last year, but I didn't really pay much attention to it, but it happening again this year... I guess it's a yearly thing, right before Star Wars Day. Mmm, tricky DC. Mezco has put up solicitations for their Sovereign Knight Batman. And this looks really great. It's in the height of his career. He's at the peak of his physical skills, his tech, his gadgets, and I like it. It's going to take a lot to beat the Ascending Knight Batman because I absolutely love that thing, especially the black variant. It just looks so good. It comes with the grappling gun with two hook options. It's a little bit hot in here. Why am I sweating? I'm inside with the air conditioner on. Batman makes me sweaty. Ten Batarangs, one big Batarang. What's the other thing? A Sonic Distributor, which is a cool new gadget we didn't get with Ascending. Several sets of hands, two head options, well, three head options. Uh, different ear links, and then a battle damaged one. And then a bat drone. The bat drone looks way better than the bat brick. Whatever the hell a bat brick is. Now you may notice the battle damaged head, it looks like scratch marks. And I don't know if they planned it like that or what, but also up for pre-order on Batman Day was the Mezco exclusive purple suit Catwoman. This is cool and all. The pictures here is just the promotional pictures for the black suit Catwoman photoshopped purple so there's nothing really new here we still get the 50s 60s style face in the modern costume which kind of throws my eye off a little bit it's like ah radar goggles eh? Man. i don't know why i went gangster with that i just that's how i hear her in my head backpack goggles whip hand options same thing except this was very limited supply and i i know i'm telling you about this now but it's already sold out so Good luck with that. I didn't get one either. I'm right there with you. And then Mezco threw some teases out there, and the, <laughs> maybe it's because we've seen Catwoman before, maybe in a different color, but we've seen the basic figure. We've seen Sovereign Knight Batman for a while. Uh, it's stuff like Jim Gordon that makes me go, I need more Batman stuff. It's a dude in glasses and, you know, trench coat and a suit, but it's Jim Gordon. They could have went Nightwing, they could have went Robin, they could have went Red Hood, they could have went any direction, but getting a Jim Gordon with what looks like... What looks like? It's the bat signal. After much investigation, I have concluded that this it may be a bat signal. I don't want to be too definitive. Uh, I don't want to be taken to court. But if they're going to dig this deep into the bat family, uh, it makes me a little bit more willing to jump into the line <laughs> like I haven't jumped in the line already but then there's also the Batmobile looking all sleek I mezco -fied. I know they showed the Batman versus Superman Batmobile a while back and then it just kind of uh, disappeared but this is much more generic you can take any Batman figure 
put it in this Batmobile. It's bat styled, it has four wheels, probably has some weapons. I'm down, as of this minute, until they t tell us the price. <laughs> NECA has posted some updates for their IT Pennywise, both the 1990 version and the 2017 version, and they are both looking fantastic. They said it's almost ready to go into production, or it's in production, or whatever stage. Or however the magic of toy manufacturing works. I haven't even seen the 2017 movie, and I'm interested in this. The 1990 movie scared the shit out of me. I will be getting this figure, but this will be locked up somewhere behind glass or in another room somewhere. You're not getting me, Pennywise. You're not getting me. Also up for sale right now on the NECA Amazon page is the Quarter Scale Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Baby Turtles. So if you're buying the Quarter Scale figures, go ahead and go grab those because it also comes with the hand for Michelangelo and the pizza box and, you know, the other accessories. You remember Toys Alliance? You remember how they were making big ass Transformers? The MAS 02 Megatron was supposed to be out late February and then it was pushed to March and here we are in May. Toys Alliance has posted an update. It should be May. They posted some pictures of Megatron coming together in parts and pieces. Megatron's without heads being put together. This guy right here on his cell phone at work. <laughs> you got busted, didn't you? <laughs> but I don't even care about the delay. I just want a quality product like Optimus Prime was because I have the Optimus Prime. I need the Megatron. So I'm good with even June, July, April. June, July, April. April, why is this? Time works different in Arkansas. Bandai has posted more promotional images of their Tamashi Comic Con exclusive, the Force Awakens C-3PO and Stealth Iron Man Mark III. The C-3PO, I'm okay with missing out. It can be exclusive. I don't need a C-3PO with a red arm, even though I feel like the SH Figure Art C-3PO is the best figure out there. The finish, not so much. It's just kinda blah gold. That's an actual color, blah gold. Yeah, I have the standard one. I'm good with that. What I want is a desert, dirty, oily C-3PO from Tamashii Nations. That, I would travel overseas to the Comic-Con pick up. But they're getting me with the Iron Man the more I see, especially the stylized him in action pose pictures. There's just something about the foosh blue blowing my skirt up. I, I can't help it. I'm hoping there's some avenue to pick these up, but as I understand it right now, it's just show exclusive, and Tamashi Comic-Con is May 25th. So I foresee a weekend of just sitting on eBay hoping for the best. Sticking with figure arts, it looks like the Soul Web exclusive Avengers Infinity War Bucky and Rocket Raccoon is being distributed by Bluefin. The odd thing about it, Rocket doesn't seem to be coming with anything extra. Him, two heads, big gun, that's it. But Bucky comes with the impact effect that we see a lot with the different figures and then by itself, but it's a cool addition to the set. Plus it brings Bucky to the US. I'm still not sure about his face, Mm, kind of Captain Caveman-ish. But body's good. Maybe I'll find a third-party head or something. I don't know. I just need a figure arts Bucky. Going further down the SH Figure Arts Avengers Infinity War rabbit hole, there is a show going on in Osaka that is showing some new accessories for some of the figures. Well, not new accessories. We'll see, we see more of the Iron Spider legs. It looks like his back piece comes off and a whole assembly goes on, which we knew about, but it's cool to see an actual picture of the figure in the display case just that close. We see Iron Man's attachments on there looking fantastic in an action pose. We see Black Widow with her sticks. We see Captain America still without his shield. The description for the figure arts Captain America says optional parts, but they still haven't shown those optional parts. Maybe it was a last minute thing added to the movie or, you know, CGI, and then the toy companies have to go, oh, gotta catch up real quick, sculpt those, we'll show them when we can. But the biggest thing shown in this display case is Thanosis' uh, Thanosis' uh, snapping finger on the wrong hand. It was probably said somewhere in the script or somebody high up at Marvel told the toy, you know, he's gonna snap his finger blink out what he does, you know? But did they specify which hand? I've seen it commented that this could be used for the hand that he puts the gems into the gauntlet, but that would be the index finger. At least the way it's shown in the trailer. Flip, snap. That's how I learned to do it when I was three, and that's how I've done it ever since. But here's a display case elsewhere. Another show, another display. I don't know where this is. But you can see Thanos looking all right in the case, but we're seeing better pictures of Hulk. Yes, the face is not Ruffalo, but the rest of the body, if they can give us at least one head that kind of looks movie-ish, I'm good with this figure. But if not, look at the size of this figure. This would probably fit in your Marvel Legends display or as a generic comic book Hulk. Hey, mm, this is looking good. The birds are chirping.
to springtime, my friends. They've also posted this picture of the lineup. You can see <laughs> this year is pretty full on SH Figure Arts for Avengers. I want to say Ant-Man's in the eighth month, filling up the year, but he's not based on Avengers. He's based on Ant-Man and Wasp. But they still have a, you know, more coming down here, so maybe Thor? Maybe more stuff next year? And then it is Star Wars Day, so you knew this was coming. I usually only talk about six inch stuff or six inch compatible stuff, which makes it sound kind of sexy. But the Disney Shop Online has put up the Elite Series 35th anniversary of Return of the Jedi Darth Vader. I don't care too much for the Elite Series. They look kind of soft. They're made of metal. They're seven inch scale. But for those of you who do collect it, there you go. Run to the Disney Shop. While you're there, why don't you pick up the toy box Leia? We knew this was coming. I, I don't have a Disney store within reach, so I haven't... I'm afraid if I go into a Disney store and I see these, especially the Boba Fett, Darth Vader, I, I'll pick one up. And if I pick one up, I'm going to pick more up. And that's not good. GTP Toys has also opened up orders for their 112 scale space wall starter set. And this set includes some improvements. They have a set of clips that come with this set. You can set the wall straight, you can set them at 90 degrees, and you can set them at, I think it said 15 degrees. You get 48 clips in all. And this is better than the clippy clippies that I've been buying at the store, or they started sending with the sets. This is solid, it goes together, you can pick up the whole wall together. They've also started sculpting the ends of the parts where if it's shown like a hallway or something it doesn't look like just a blank plane on the end those guys thinking of everything now the starter set today will run you $105 and they're set to ship in June the Hasbro Star Wars Black Series Mimbin Trooper has been found in both Hong Kong and France and mm, I'm liking it more and more I need my sewer trooper badly hopefully it's as easy as Chewbacca was to find I, it started getting sightings this week and I went to Target picked one up came home, opened it up, put it on the shelf. That was kind of crazy. This being a Walmart exclusive, maybe a little bit harder. Walmart likes to tease you a little bit. Now I was hoping the cape, the soft goods cape, uh, had a hood, but it looks more like extra layers just hanging down. It's not an actual hood to come up over the helmet. And then the big news in Star Wars today, at least when it comes to what I talk about, is the SH, it's not the SH figure arts, it's the Hasbro Black Series Admiral Piet. Now this is a shared exclusive it looks like. It popped up on Entertainment Earth first, but it's also popped up on Empire Toy Shop and Dorkside Toys. So I don't know what, maybe it's an online exclusive, I guess. When I first saw it, I thought, oh, single finger single finger thought oh the first figure for the next wave maybe they will be announcing more but it looks like it's by himself now the face isn't perfect but it looks damn good for what it is plus it has a removable hat if you buy several you can switch out the heads you have more officers easy peasy mm. Piet is $21 and he's set to ship in June like I said there will probably be more Star Wars news during the day I, because Star Wars Day is all day or maybe they'll announce more on revenge of the fifth i i don't know how this works but that's it from me if there's more star wars news maybe we'll do a quickie over the weekend i i'm off ain't i i, I feel like i need a nap or something allergies uh maybe it's beautiful outside maybe i know i don't really want to go mow the lawn but i'm gonna have to but until next time my friends if you like this foosh weekly comment like subscribe I'll catch you on the foosh.